Okay, my first thought, Craig, was... Unacceptable. Oh, yes. It was refreshing. You Finished should. the job. Right. It was incredible. That was a <laughs> stupid response by you. You sure you want me here? I might say nice things all night. <laughs> Here's the bottom line. This was a golden opportunity blown. Nothing was yeah. happening. They didn't have one big play. You know, that's the type of difference-making play that the whole defense thrives off. It's infectious. When you win three national championships in four years, you obviously make a deal with the devil. Let me make this point. I am blown away at the level of play. It doesn't phase the players at all. You watch that game today, it didn't even seem like they were hampered by it one bit. Okay, Absolutely. their two worst games by far is when they were ranked. Now listen, Todd Graham knows this, Steve Patterson knows this, the blocking sleds know this, Sparky knows this. <laughs> this is a good thing that they're not ranked. He's only been a head coach for three months, okay? Right. There's no always with him. Uh, that's part of the problem, yeah. I think. He seems stubborn. He's really in love with his offense, yeah. and if you watch it, it's wretched. Is Peyton Manning the best quarterback to ever play? Oh, that's another easy question, and I apologize in advance, Denver. <laughs> N-O. Andre Ellington lost more dreadlocks today than he had rushing yards. Are those extensions or is no, that real hair? It has to be extensions. And the defender was walking off like he's going to put it on eBay later tonight or something, right? <laughs> this is USC. It's an embarrassment what they fall into. But I'm glad that ASU played a role in getting that loser out of there. They're not going to win the Super Bowl this year. What they have to learn is to close out some of these games. Yeah. And they found out a way to do it. They're, they're playing pretty well. When things fall into place like they did for the Cardinals, A, goal line stand, B, missed field goals, you believe the magic is there. When you have a situation like this where one team has five weeks to prepare, I always go with the better coach, the smarter coach, that's Gus Malzahn. So wake me up. Charles, I like you a lot better when you're talking about losing weight with Jenny Craig. <laughs> Let me say this about the cold, Paul. I know you've been on Pier 39 and what, Fisherman's Wharf. You don't play football in that kind of weather. That's ridiculous. I respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> sir, disagree with you. What? Look at, Look at this. this. You, you don't got... play football in sure there. Sure you do. You sure don't play the Super Bowl in there. Is it time to trade Larry Fitzgerald? Oh, yeah. I think they should either trade him to Philadelphia for the Liberty <laughs> Bell. Maybe they could trade him to St. Louis for the Arch. He's not done yet. He's got two or three years. What player has more pride than Larry Fitzgerald? I think the only way they could be really concerned is if Dennis Rodman were forming an all-star hockey team <laughs> okay. and taking some of these guys to okay. go to North Korea. Let me make this point. I am blown away at the level of play. They know what they're doing. Okay, that's old news. I don't think it's happening. Good job. Thanks, Ray. <laughs>